It's a perfect time to meet South Korea on Korea Today. South Korea spares no effort to ensure the success of the 2010 G20 Summit. We take you to Andong to taste delicious salted mackerel. Finally, let's catch World Cup fever with the enthusiastic South Korean soccer fans. You won't want to miss the first episode of Korea Today. Welcome to Korea Today, KBS World's brand new program of the second half of this year. I am Su Young Yoon. What is going on in Korea in year 2010? Starting from today, every week for the next 20 weeks, I will bring you in-depth images of the dynamic Korea reaching towards the world. Our first topic of the day is Korean spirit. You will get a glimpse of the power, the potential, and the motivation of Korea. What drives Korea? And what efforts does the nation make to coexist within the international community? Korea conquered the economic crisis and has become the host of the upcoming G20 summit. Let's find out its backstory through Korean spirit. Figure skating champion Yana Kim stated, World-renowned soprano Sumi Jo also said. What makes them so interested in the G20? In September 2009, the third G20 summit was held in Pittsburgh in the U.S. G20 의장국으로서 개최하기로 했음을 국민 여러분께 먼저 알려드립니다. 만장일치로 결정이 되었습니다. At the G20 Seoul Summit slated for November 11th and 12th of this year, Korea will become the first non-G7 nation to take the reins. Korea will play a leading role in setting the agenda and coordinating global economic policy at the event. 한국은 첫 번째가 G20이 계속 굴러가야 되겠다는 그런 데첫 번째 관심이 있었고 두 번째는 어떤 적절한 순간이 되면 한국이 좀 의장국으로 해서 G20의 의제를 좀 균형 잡게 맞춰야 되겠다. The G20 is a crucial opportunity for developing nations to have a say in the evolution of an economic landscape long dominated by developed nations like the USA, the United Kingdom and France. What is the G20? In the fall of 2008, then U.S. President George W. Bush contacted the leaders of 10 countries, including Korea, India and Australia, to invite them to a meeting. The meeting was aimed at discussing measures to tackle the global financial crisis, sparked by the U.S. subprime mortgage calamity and the collapse of Lehman Brothers. At that time, there was a growing awareness that balanced leadership from both developed and developing nations was needed to ensure global financial stability. O G7 sozinho não tem mais condições de conduzir os assuntos econômicos do mundo. A contribuição dos países emergentes é também essencial. In fact, a number of developing nations had been stressing the need for a new forum for discussing global economic issues. Finally, in 2008, leaders of major advanced and emerging economies met together to strengthen international cooperation. How was Korea selected to host the summit? The G20 members wanted to learn from Korea's experience in overcoming the financial crisis of the late 1990s.
Also, the members believe that Korea, which has grown from being a major recipient of international aid into one of the world's leading economies, is well positioned to bridge the gap between developed and developing nations. As a major world economy, Korea has proposed a range of solutions to help achieve sustainable growth, such as guidelines for clearing up bad assets. The November G20 summit in Seoul presents a fantastic opportunity for Korea to elevate both its voice and its profile in the international community. It is true the event is a precious opportunity for Korea, but it must prepare diligently to live up to the expectations of the global community. Shortly after being selected at the Pittsburgh summit as a venue, the government of Korea established the presidential committee for the G20 summit. As a host which can link advanced and developing nations, Korea is expected to propose an assortment of agenda items for the upcoming summit, including building a global financial safety net. Also, a plan will be finalized for narrowing the gaps between countries through poverty reduction and economic development in emerging nations. Africa나 아주 저개발국 아직 개발이 안된 나라들을 하나의 문제점으로 항상만 보고 항상 얘네들을 도와줘야 되는 나라로 보면은 문제 해결이 안 된다는 것이 우리가 스스로 알기 때문에 개발의 경험, 개발의 체제, 개발의 어떤 그 뒷받침하는 것 자체를 공유하자라는 그런 측면이고. The fourth G20 summit was co-chaired by Canada and Korea and Toronto in June. The fifth summit will take place in Seoul in a few months. Korea, the chair of the next G20 forum, will redouble its efforts to make the Seoul summit a foundation for balanced economic development and green growth.